All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for our second final of this evening's entertainment. It is the Boers Pairs final. It will be between England and Germany. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome first on stage for England, Thomas Banks and Jensen Walker. And ladies and gentlemen, their opponents from Germany, Jorik Hofkens and Alexander Steinmetz. And your referee for this boys' pairs final, Denmark's own Christian Sørensen. And welcome back here for the boys' pairs finals at the WDF World Cup in Espia here in Denmark. This is a match that I have been looking very much forward to this is a match between england and germany and i've just had a look andrew there are three of the four players in this final who has well an overall average between 82 and 83 um, all of the three players have played at least 16 matches that is incredibly good darts especially considering that they haven't just been playing singles matches it's also from the pairs event so well we we can expect fireworks in this match no absolutely and this is almost there's one slight change but this is a rematch of the pairs boys pairs final at the europe youth cup earlier in the year when I think it was Archie Self was playing for England alongside Thomas Banks. They played Yorick and, and Alexander. So England won on that occasion. Um, and the way Thomas and Jensen are playing, you would say that they are favourites. But, you know, Yorick, he's the only youth player to hit 100 average in the singles. So he's a very, very capable player. And, you know, as long as Alexander holds up his end of the pairing, this should be a good competitive game uh, and an enjoyable one to watch as well. Yeah. No doubt about that. And it's England who has to throw. And this final is best of nine legs. So the final we just saw before was best of seven. So now we at least get one more leg in this one. Yeah, certainly. In I think Thomas had a, a good run earlier this year in the UK Open. He was one of the Riley's qualifiers. Him and Luke Littler both did very well. Um, and he's someone who's got an awful lot of potential. Thomas is only 16, but he's got a really bright future ahead of him. And uh, Jensen, you know, his partner, is someone that he, I think he was 15, and he got to the semi-finals of the England Open last year. Uh, and he was like, oh, wow, I, uh, you know, I'd not really heard of him before. Um, and, yeah been part of the England setup this year because he played in their ranking events and he's been a really important part of the, the team for the Europe Cup youth earlier in the year 
uh, and also for, for this World Cup tournament, hence why he's in this final and a couple of others later on. But there's no doubt that England is the favourite for, for this match. I mean, without sounding, hopefully without sounding disrespectful, there are three world-class youth players in this final and two of them are from England. So it's, it's very much a question of whether or not the German team can, well, pick up their chances when they get them. Yeah. Pairs is a funny old game. It's uh, it's not you know it's not the same as singles. It's a very different rhythm because you know you're you're throwing once every four goes, which you know is harder to kind of keep yourself steady. But this England team are, are a good a good pairing, um, and you know they're capable. They're very very capable. But yeah, I was gonna say if Yorick sets them up on a finish that gives Germany a chance but uh, when the first dart goes out the board it's always going to be a bit of a problem <laughs> yeah that's clinical from England here 1-0 yeah. and nice to see a bit of passion out of Thomas Banks mm. as well winning the first leg giving it the raw um, you see that a lot more with players now you know before the emotion was quite reserved and it was only the occasional character but I think with players like a Gerwin Price or a Michael Van Gerwen at the top of the game who are so emotional, I think the younger ones coming through think, actually, maybe it's not a bad thing to, to show that and uh, use that adrenaline and, you know, hopefully use it in a positive way to fire yourself up, fire your team up, but also maybe mind games with the opponent as well. Yeah, I mean, there's certainly a lot of mixed opinions about that, but I'm totally with you. Uh, I love to, to watch players with emotions. Um, that's what, in a lot of instances, makes the, the sport exciting. Uh, without characters, then it's just not the same. No, no, not at all. Um, <coughs> Germany are, are staying in this one, and that's mostly thanks to the fact that, you know, Jorik Hofkins is finding that treble every visit, at least one every visit, and that, that's keeping them in this game. But some steady darts from England and uh, they're on a finish as well now and that gives Germany another chance here this time from 74 that's alright now double top for the first leg, but instead he hits a single one, and now it's really, really tough for Germany if this one goes in. Oh, that's... Well, uh, I don't think you can actually be unlucky in darts. I mean, you either hit the target or you don't, but still that was kind of cruel. I don't know. I feel like unlucky is the word I've used to describe my darts for a long time. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, a breaker throw there from England, which uh, now means that if they can hold this, there'll be three legs to the good which obviously in a race to five it leaves the German team a lot of work to do but not the best start from Thomas Banks there which might open the door for Hofkins and Steinmetz They may be 2-0 behind here but Germany has had their chances and as you said especially Jurig is is playing a really good final here he is also the the player with the highest tournament average across the singles and the pairs competition 
12th. I mean, you, you watch some of the players on the PDC Pro Tour who doesn't do that throughout the whole season. No, absolutely. And, and Yorick won the, the um, boys singles at the Europe Youth Cup earlier this year and looked a cut above mm. you know, the rest of the players there. And that included the England players that he beat. So he really is a, a bright light of, of youth darts in Germany. And I think he's got a really bright future ahead of him. And he's shown that this week. He's into the boys singles final, hit a ton average during that tournament. And yeah, he's very, very consistent. And he's... You know, he's shown the ability to switch, use the board, work the board, which, you know, again, these are teenagers, you know. Yeah. When I was a teenager, I just sort of chucked and <laughs> hit and hoped and, you know, I didn't think about it. You know, these guys are a lot smarter, a lot more switched mm. on at a very young age, which is impressive, but also kind of scary as well that, you know, they're already this good. And we have seen it before, obviously. I mean, well... Even Germany, Max Hub was a, a brilliant player, even as a youth player, especially as a youth player. Uh, he was playing around the same time like Jeffrey De Swan and uh, Roby John Rodriguez. There was so many brilliant players back then. Uh, Dimitri Vandenberg. So, I mean, there there is history that some of these players can actually go all the way in the future. Oh. Fantastic 1-2-2 two, two finish from Jorik Hoftens there. Gets Germany the break back. Yeah, that's really good to see. Oh. And a 140 to start the next leg. He is firing on all cylinders in this one. And perhaps we have just been uh, a little bit harsh on on uh, sorry Steinmetz because he has actually played some some good darts considering what he has done in, in the rest of the tournament. He is uh, he is a big part of this final right now. Absolutely, he's you know he's holding up his end of the uh, the pairing, but. Uh, I think that break has put a bit of fire in England's belly because uh, down to 47 after 9 in this leg, which is uh, very impressive stuff. Now double 16 for 12th dart leg. How many 12th dart, dart legs have you hit in, in your whole life, Andrew? I'm not entirely sure, but I think it's roughly around the zero mark. Yeah, <laughs> the same goes for me, <laughs> and I've played a whole lot of darts. <laughs> Another big roar there from Thomas Banks. 13 data puts England 3-1 ahead, and uh, got the break back now. But no, England... Within England, the, the England Darts Organisation, they run a Youth Grand Prix series, which is a series of youth events uh, throughout the UK. They run girls, they run mixed tournaments. And uh, Thomas and Jensen have come through that system, and that's why they're part of this England team. They're in the Youth Cup team, and they're also in this World Cup team. And it kind of shows the value of, of trying to give those kids as many opportunities as you can. And I think that's one of the positive things about where darts is now as a sport. Uh, is that you know the kids have so many opportunities to go and play whether that's doing the WDF tour whether that's doing national circuits at home whether that's doing stuff on the JDC or you know when you get to the right age of the development tour I think there's so many options for them now you know nothing beats match practice and I think there's so much opportunity for them now that's why that standard for young players is going up and up and you know this is the, the end product of that that's what we're seeing on the stage right now yeah, and well, you <laughs> you say end product. I think there's one player in well, specifically one player that most people would have expected to to see at this tournament. However, he's not a part of the team. Luke Littler. Yes. I mean, he is 
levels above the rest. Um, the, these players are spectacular, but he is showing s well signs of well Michael van Goven esque levels. Yeah, he's a he's a brilliant talent, and he's a, he's a really nice lad as well. You know, when you get to know him personally, he's a really nice, you know, humble humble lad. And I think he he is someone again who has made the most of those opportunities. And he was part of the England team at the Europe Cup last year in Spain. But this year, he decided that he didn't want to be part of the England team. He wanted to focus on, really, the next step in his career, which was, you know, finishing school, uh, which is a crazy thing to say. <laughs> yeah. But also, obviously, the, the development tour. The development tour is a big part of that. You know, he's second on that this year. And, you know, he's heading off to the PDC as a tour card holder next year. So... Um, that's why he's not part of this England team, but it's pretty impressive going when, you know, the next two down are, are playing as well as these two are, and now 4-1 up. One, This has so far been a, a really good, good final. England averaging 81 right now, Germany 73, which is pretty much what we would have expected. And that's considering that both teams have missed a lot of doubles as well. So the scoring part of the game has been especially good. Yeah. No, absolutely. And uh, Jensen's got a chance here to wrap this up with a 101. Double 16 now for the title. <laughs> he even gave it the whole Rob Cross step back. And yeah. Push yourself and, uh, good yeah. build up. A bit of pressure on this. Now double eight this time. <laughs> that, yeah, that's really good to see some strong emotions from the English team here. They played a brilliant final. 5-1 is the end result with an average of 86. Very, 213 dancers. Yes, no, a, a very impressive performance by Thomas and Jensen there. Two very talented young players who've got a very bright future ahead of them. And uh, yeah, two finals, two goals for England. Uh, it's a good start so far. And it may get even better because in a few moments we are on with the next final. This time it's the Youth Mix Pairs Finals. So hang on just for a few moments and then we will be ready with the third final of the night.